today we're going to attempt to do something uh, that I've been wanting to do for a while. Um, here, probably in the past year or so, I've um, been slowly transitioning into more of a, a freshwater space. But regardless of freshwater, um, this could work in salt water as well. So with the Bonafide, um, I don't have a lot of electronics. Uh, very simple setup. If you guys that have followed me or uh, at least the Bonafide build and, and usage, um, I keep it really simple. I keep it to the point. Uh, all my electronics at the moment are either battery powered or I say battery powered. They're either uh, my my light on the back, my 360 light is battery powered, and uh, I've got the um, rail blazer uh, style. And um, yeah, like man, the batteries last like years in that thing. I need to swap them out just so they don't go bad and destroy it. Um, I just recently stepped up to a, uh, a Bixby system, which is uh, straight to a, uh, a LiPo style or whatever battery. Um, but my pod, I have had a fish finder in it now for uh, uh, I guess a year and a half ish, and I've gotten used to it. Um, I had added some lights. I'm gonna show you those in a minute. Um, very simple setup. Uh, I didn't go crazy with it, didn't go overboard. I'm gonna show you what I did, um, but now and then from there, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do to kind of upgrade my original plan uh, now that I know that I like it and that it works. Um, so let me flip the camera around. So for the sake of the video, we're gonna sit back here on the, we're gonna use the back deck of the kayak as a table. Um, just for lighting purposes. Let me, yeah, there we go. Um, so anyway, so you see, I've got my uh, Helix 5 set up. I've got the um, transducer mounted right to the edge. I just did a simple clean hole and I uh, had originally just did some super glue, but you see that that's not uh, sufficient so that is definitely uh, stage two of what I'm going to do today uh, but um, so transducer this is the uh, I have side imaging but this is the compact transducer for the side imaging and this is how it fits and it works great um, some of you guys you know I see a lot of posts out there about building spacers and stuff but I have no issues this thing it's perfect uh, I get good clarity in my uh, scans it, it just works great Come straight out um, using the uh, ram mount system to mount the uh, SI and honestly, I mean the way this thing is, is set up, it's perfect uh, for me. So when I'm in the kayak, I can actually reach and uh, do what I need to do, do anything that I need to do um, with it. I can mash the buttons or I can... I can reach this and readjust, or even if I still need, I kind of have this set up where I can still kind of use the pod as a, a dry storage if I need to. Uh, but with that in mind, let me show you what I've done. And I know you've already seen the lights hanging off the back of this thing. So what I did is I took, and you can use, I mean, you can do this with just about any kind of battery, but I have these uh, portal cable, 20 volts, so I bought this adapter uh, right here on Amazon. I'll probably throw a link uh, in the description. And then I, this is a uh, voltage, um, like a step down voltage. And I think it's it's good for, I forgot how many amps. It's, it's not a whole lot, but it's way more than what, what I'm doing here. Um, so yeah, so you just pop in your, your lithium battery and I've got it wired to uh, an SAE connector here. And I got some sketchy business going on at the moment, but I kind of did this as a trial uh, trial period. And as you can see, um, I've, yeah, I mean, I got some tools in there. I'm still using this as a dry box. So if you paid attention when I was showing you the side profile, sorry, this thing is like wobbly, crazy. Um, you see, I put these waterproof um, LEDs. I just stuck them on the side, run the wires to the inside and literally did i got a three-way switch and one turns on white lights one turns on some amber lights uh and that really seems to work i really like that uh, scenario and so i've got some lights that i'm going to replace these with i'm going to take these leds here off 
um, when replace them with some actual marine grade uh, like interior lights that will fit in the gap so when you snap snap this in and we'll, we'll test that out in a moment I'll just show you how that fits and then I was looking I was like man I got all this space right here uh, and I love this finder uh, I don't know if I'll ever upgrade if I do I'm, I'll probably just get a whole nother pod and uh, just build a whole nother system because I'm really thinking I really kind of want to uh, get a, another bona fide eventually but I was looking at all this space and I've got an underwater fishing light and I was thinking man if I had an LED um, underwater light mounted on the bottom of this thing uh, so that when I'm in freshwater uh, I'd be able to run it and you know, I'd use these uh, waterproof switches and wire it all up inside the dry box here inside the pod man it would be just golden so that's what we're going to do here today uh, in this video we're going to add lights to the pod now like I said I don't have wiring run throughout my kayak my kayak is super simple I will eventually probably do lights but I'm just kind of skeptical of it at the moment and I just don't want to waste the time if I'm not going to use it all right so let me show you what we're working with here so basically got two of these um, courtesy lights it's, it, they're made for boats uh, not really made for going underwater or anything like that but it's a sealed housing uh, this one specifically has uh, blue LEDs uh, so we're gonna try this out and if I don't like the blue the cool thing is these come in white they come in I think they come in amber and green they come in all the colors if I don't like these I'll just go buy a different color and use the screw holes to uh, you know swap them out so I've got two of them one for each side and then for the bottom I found these they were not much these were uh, like $4.99 a piece at Academy um, this one low amp draw high lumens uh, submersible these are made to go underwater these are literally under they're, they're called underwater lights um, 12 volt got a pigtail wire connection um, comes with some tinned wires marine wire whatnot uh, they are uh, green in color because green is usually better all right so i was going to start with these other lights but they're not going to work so i've got to go to academy and pick up the other two uh that i had in mind that will work perfectly but i don't think i can get them in blue i may have to actually order them on um amazon so yeah so not these so let's move on to the bottoms so when you open up uh the underwater lights they come with these rubber pads um, to to mount them. I don't know if you have to use those or not, honestly. So even though this is rounded on the edges, it's actually the exact, putting them side by side is the exact width of this section right here. And I've test fit it down in there. So that's what I'm gonna do. This is basically it, other than the big thick rubber pad, which is right here. I don't know, maybe I don't need the rubber pads. I'm going to test it out both ways. Let's see. Alright, I've got them laid out uh, how I think I want them. Just get them where you want them. It doesn't have to be absolute perfection. <laughs> I keep touching this thing. Tell you what, let me try something. All right, taped them down. So I'm gonna take my um, silver sharpie and mark my holes. I'm obviously gonna put some goop on here, but I'm just test fitting everything first. Get a feel for how it's gonna fit. Quite possibly gonna put a piece of uh, starboard or something on the inside of this just to stiffen it up. But I will say it's pretty sturdy. I don't know, kinda like that. It looked pretty bright to me. All right, now I just gotta figure out the switching situation. All right. 
Test them out one last time. I'm sure it's not apparent how bright these are, but they are pretty bright. Alright, I'm not going to bore you with soldering and whatnot. Um, I have these little waterproof uh, micro switches. Use what you wish. Um, I think this is where I'm going to put them. I'm going to put two switches because I am planning on doing the other lights back on the side like I was trying to do with No hindrance whatsoever. There they are, recessed up inside. So they'll literally just be blasting straight out the pothole, straight down. I'm not gonna bore you with all the wiring. If you uh, if you're not good at wiring, you probably don't need to be doing this in the first place. I'm gonna drill these two holes right here put my switches in place and connect the wire to the battery. All right, here we are. It's actually, it's actually a three-way switch, but I'm just using it as a one-way, I mean a two-way. If I ever want to put something else on the switch, I can. From the cockpit, you're not, you're not seeing anything but through the speckled holes, so. Let's kill it. 